Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys all about Smile Direct Club, my experience with them, whether I think it would be a good company to go with with you guys, if that's something that you're looking into, especially when it comes to straightening your beautiful pearly whites. So if you guys are ready, let's get into it. Okay, so as most of you probably already know, Smile Direct Club is just another aligner company like Invisalign and basically they allow you to get your new smile from the comfort of your own home without having to go to a dentist's office. They are significantly cheaper than getting braces and getting Invisalign. Depending on if you make payment plans or if you pay in full, they give you a bigger discount. And speaking of discounts, if if you are thinking about Smile Direct Club, seriously, I do have a link in the description box for all of you out there to get you guys $100 off if you decide to go through with Smile Direct Club if you feel like it is the right fit for you. But wait, let me get through this video first and then you guys can go ahead and make your decision. My experience with Smile Direct Club, I first found them as when they just started out and they were the OGs, so there were no other aligner from home companies that were out on the market at the time. And at first I was very skeptical and I thought, how is that safe or without any kind of medical supervision? But I was in such desperate need of fixing my teeth, I went ahead and went with them Anyways, and at the time they did not have smile shops like they do now, which is super convenient because they have blown up since I first found them. And they actually would have to send you impression kits. They will still do that if you don't have a smile shop near you. Um, but they would send me a impression kit which comes with moldable clay and then a little plastic mold, like a little plastic tray that you stick up your upper and your lower teeth. And then you kind of bite down. They have great instructions included in there. You ship them all back in the same box that was provided to you, which is convenient, but it looks something like this if that helps, okay? So that will be your impressions kit if you decide to get one. If you don't, that's no problem. You can always go to a smile shop, something like that. And they can also scan your teeth, they will take care of everything there, which is awesome. And I have been to one of those myself. So much easier to do. The downfall with making your own impressions is you can actually mess them up pretty bad and then you are sending them out to the company. It takes them a couple weeks to review them and then if they're not good, then they have to send them back to you. And no one wants to go through that because you just kind of want to get this process started already. And the process to actually make and ship your liners takes at least six to eight weeks and that is a long time to wait. I was anxiously, anxiously waiting. Once you send over your impressions and your images over to Smile Direct Club, they will make you a virtual smile, which is amazing to see. It basically transforms your new smile from your old smile and it takes you by step by step, week by week, or even month by month process so you can get an idea of what your teeth will look like when it's all said and done and you're not going in there blind. So you will then approve those designs. So you will then get your first set of Invisalign or aligners, whatever you wanna call it. There are a lot of guidelines and the kit actually comes with all of these things, which I will put here. So there is whitening gel, your actual liners, chewies, which are super important, a aligner, an aligner removing tool because your liners can get very, very tight, very snug, and it actually can be difficult to go in there with your fingers to pop them out. So they throw that in there with you as well. They give you a nail file, comes in handy, and I don't know what I would do without them. Chapstick, and the newer ones come with tablets now so you can actually soak your liners to disinfect them, so to speak. So all in all, 
it's a very good kit. It comes with everything that you need. It comes with your whole aligner set. They don't just give you week one by itself and week two by itself, you know, to try to force you to keep you on track. Although that is highly, highly recommended that you stay on track and keep your aligners in as long as they tell you. Um, a lot of people have not done that. And then at the end of the program, they do not get the results that they were looking for. So it is very important to make sure you are abiding by what the dentist that created your plan is telling you to do. As tempting as it is to jump ahead throughout your treatment plan, do not jump ahead if at all possible. You really are going to be derailing yourself. So let's say that on your aligner it says wear for two weeks before you're able to switch to the next aligner. That's there for a reason. You don't want to be like, okay, it's really tight the first few days, then it's finally loosened up, maybe it's time to switch, or even after a week because you're patient. You just want to move on to the next one. Healing does take time. As we all know, the body does not heal magically like that. And the teeth need time to stabilize and sit in their new position to allow new tissue growth to grow around it and for the tooth to become stronger again. You, if you do this consecutively, you can really, really run a severe risk of having wiggly, loose, teeth and that is something that you probably don't want to have. I would freak out if I felt like my teeth were wiggly for a very long period of time. It will go back to normal but it is scary and inconvenient. So try by all means to stick to your time frame especially when you are switching aligners. Be prepared if you have not started treatment yet for your teeth and your gums and your tongue and everything inside your mouth to hurt. Everything will be screaming in pain, especially the first few different aligners that you put in. It's going to take a while for your oral cavity to get used to a foreign object being in there. And that means you're going to scrape up your gums, you're going to scrape up your tongue, underneath your lip might hurt or above, you know, underneath the upper lip may hurt. Put your aligners in at nighttime. That will also help with your tooth pain because trust me, your teeth are going to be aching. Very painful. It may even be hard to drink, talk, or eat for the first couple of days. Um, it's going to take time, especially if this is your first pair or your first few trays themselves. It is not going to be easy. You are going to... <laughs> Uh, be kind of miserable. It can also stimulate headaches or migraines and cause difficulty when it comes to going to sleep. Your aligners can hurt when you put them in. They can hurt when you take them out, especially when they're just freestanding there, then you really feel it. So, and then it hurts when you put them back in. So either way, just be prepared to be in pain at some point or another throughout your treatment plan. So I would recommend putting your aligners in at nighttime. That way you sleep through most of this movement that's happening. Take some Aleve, Advil, Tylenol, any kind of pain relief that you can find, and that will also help minimize the pain at least throughout the day and you can function like a good member of society and you won't be cranky and miserable and agitated. The next thing that I would recommend when it comes to putting in your aligners is especially if they're new and you feel any kind of poking around in the gums or kind of any kind of friction between your aligner and your lip or your aligner and your back of your tongue or underneath your tongue especially, then I would take the file that they give you and really file down those edges. Don't file too much. You don't want to get into the gum line portion of the aligners because that is there for a reason as well. It actually shifts your gums along with your teeth. But I would definitely file down the edges. That will help immensely when it comes to minimizing your pain. Another thing you can take is over the counter or in your Walgreens, CVS pharmacy, anywhere kind of drugstore that you go to. They have this wax that they make and it's purposely for aligners. It's purposely for people that wear false teeth and it is supposed to help with friction as well. And it's very thick. So you put it on kind of underneath your lip and underneath the top of your lip.
lip and that's supposed to help decrease friction as well. But we all know it's common sense to avoid eating with your aligners in. However, some people lack a little bit of common sense and they think they can just munch on a couple things and to me, it feels unnatural. It feels like my aligners are gonna break and I prefer not to do that whatsoever. I would never damage my aligners like that. So definitely avoid eating while you have aligners in your mouth. <laughs> It says you're not supposed to drink with your aligners in. I do all the time and my aligners have never suffered any damage. They've never gone discolored. No, I've never had any problems when it comes to drinking. However, I do make sure that I wash my aligners more frequently. So the tablets that they give you never came with mine because I started my program a while ago and they just started doing that now. So I can't tell you how well that works, but I used to use efferent tablets, which look like this. And they were actually made for people who wear like dentures and they're supposed to soak in their fizzy tablets so it cleans and disinfects. They actually worked great for me. But I mean, if you're getting tablets for free, then you obviously don't need those. But that's another backup that I use just to make sure that my aligners were clean and they stayed white and I didn't have any issues with bacteria. So when it comes to brushing your aligners, you are technically supposed to brush your teeth, not your aligners. But I I have always brushed my aligners and I've never had any issues with them because throughout the day I used to go be like Bible by their instruction booklet and brush my teeth after every meal, after every little snack, after every little drink of something. And let's be real, not everyone has time for that. So I not always brush my teeth after every single meal and I would brush my aligners instead. And that usually I did that twice a day, morning and night, and then I brush my teeth also morning and night. I never had any issues with my aligners or them being dirty or smelly or any gross stuff like that. It's always been clean and I've never experienced any kind of weakness within the aligner because I'm using my toothbrush. I brush gently and they never stretch, nothing like that. So I wouldn't worry too much about brushing your teeth after every single bite. That is exhausting. So if you can do it twice a day, I think you'll be in the clear. Okay, the chewies that come included with your little first kit with all of your stuff in there are very important and I highly recommend using them and not just discarding them and forgetting about them. Every time you put in a new tray, whether it feels like they fit or they don't fit, use your chewies, they will fit. Those bad boys will fit. Sometimes you'll get aligners that don't just snap perfectly into place and there's a little bit of residue still up at the top, like empty space that you need to really push down. And chewies are very helpful when it comes to that. You're supposed to just munch on them. They're kind of squishy. They're little white padded mini tube thing looking things and you just munch on them for a little while and they really help the aligner seats where they're supposed to be sat and they give your teeth the most perfect fit after you know munching on them for like a minute. So it makes a big difference when it comes to shifting your teeth because without using them you may not be seating them in the proper position, especially if you do this. If you are munching top and bottom teeth together to try to get your aligners to fit, you're not supposed to do that. Um, definitely use the chewies, they're there for a reason. Whatever you do, refrain yourself, especially when your aligners get loose from lifting your aligners, popping them in and out of your mouth with your tongue. It is tempting, but you're gonna end up with broken, cracked aligners straight down the middle. Smile Direct Club also includes some teeth whitener. My teeth whitening kit was a little bit different than what everyone else's may look like. Mine looked like this, it says bright on. I'm not sure if everyone else got that, but it's an LED accelerator light. Basically, they give you the gel, and then this is what the piece looks like, and you kind of put a little gel on the top and bottom of your lips. I love this one because it comes with three different USB cables, and one I specifically have for my iPhone, so I can plug it in and it looks like this. You stick it in your mouth, and then you let it sit for a while. So, is it a miracle worker? No, it's, I've never come across a teeth whitening gel that goes from like zero to 100 in one try, but if 
I've used it for a few times. I've done it a few times in a row, actually once before, and it really did make a little bit of a difference. I just haven't, I haven't used it in a while though. My teeth are usually pretty white anyways, um, but it is nice to have. So I do recommend using it if you have it because it does work over time gradually. Also, I do want to mention Smile Direct Club just does not throw you your liners and then leave you out there hanging in the dust. Um, throughout your program, they'll probably ask you to take some progress photos to send to them just to make sure that the, you are on track and that the dentist does not need to make any kind of revisions or corrections. And at the end of the program, even if you are not fully satisfied or happy, with your end smile, then um, you can definitely opt for a revision plan and kind of let them know what you were not happy with and what you want to be fixed and they will come up with an additional trays for you to kind of move your teeth a little bit better. I mean, maybe you skipped a week or maybe you broke an aligner or maybe, you know, you lost one or something had happened, you weren't wearing them the full amount of hours per day. Life happens and it's okay and they understand that so they usually are very, very, very good about coming up with revision plans for you if you need them and sending those out. Be prepared to wait though because again, it does take them time to shape and mold the aligners themselves and actually come up with a treatment plan. They may even ask you to do another impression. So be prepared for that. Just follow your rules as closely as you can and hopefully you shouldn't need to go through a revision. When you are done, then you can order your retainers. I just ordered mine actually. I have a retainer guide here and I'm super happy about me finishing. Um, I actually had finished my treatment plan a while ago, a long time ago, and I was just kept using ordering aligners, 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 and um, forgot that I could order a retainer like an idiot. So I ordered my retainer finally uh, a week ago and it actually said it was gonna take five weeks for it to come in the mail. It came after like four days. And what they do recommend is that you actually wear your retainers in place of your aligners for two weeks straight. Then you don't need to wear your aligners anymore. You just wear your retainers every single night. You go to sleep, um, take them out, brush them, obviously care for them, blah, blah, blah. And then you should order a retainer once every six months. You can go a little bit longer depending on how well you care for them. So they do cost about $99 every single time you need to get a replacement placement aligner that costs about $99 um, but it is worth it when I first found the company my bottom teeth were not terrible but my top teeth the bite was messed up there they were crooked they were slanted I had a huge snaggle tooth okay like right here like this tooth right here stuck all the way out like a door, okay? <laughs> all the way out like a door, and it was really something that I was not able to get past mentally. I would not smile in any of my pictures. I. I would not be making videos today, trust me, or be who I am today without Smile Direct Club. They really change lives. When someone first look at you, most of the time they notice your teeth, your smile, your eyes maybe, but that is usually the first thing people notice about you when they see you. And for someone who has really misshapen, really unaligned, poorly aligned teeth, you know, for even from childhood, just losing your teeth and you know not losing them right away um, it makes a big difference in your daily life I could never go back to not having my aligners ever if it's one thing I know I will make sure I have my aligners money for them for replacements and I will never go back to snaggle tooth again so trust me if you're considering getting your teeth fixed or straightened I definitely would not hold off on doing so because of money or because of whatever reason out there. It is one of the best investments that I've ever personally made within myself or for myself. So if that is something that you guys are interested in doing, again, make sure you check out my description box below for the link. You can get $100 off your purchase, especially when it comes to your impressions kit or the whole package itself as a whole. And then you can get started. Do not delay. Your life will be so much different when it's all said and done. And I can smile 
smile again and I have never smiled before for the first like 20 years of my life and I'm like so happy. Actually longer than that, 25, especially when it came to dating and meeting new people and going on interviews and all that stuff. You know why people are so insecure about their teeth. So I don't have that problem anymore and I feel free and I could not be happier. So again, do not hesitate. Go out and go get what you need and get what you want, what's going to make you feel better about yourself, more confident. Just always remember you are beautiful the way you are, but there's nothing wrong with enhancing your beauty. Um, so please don't be shy about that. Okay. So again, my name is Ellie. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If it was to you, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget my description box below. I don't want you guys to spend more money than you have to. So make sure you get on that, click it, save yourself some money. And I will be back with you guys with another video very soon. Till then, much love and I'll see you guys next time.